We're gonna turn this into a gold bar using a welder. This is the very careful don't spill it part. Look at that blob, it's just eating. Oh yeah. Oh, it's working so good. So I thought, hey, I wonder if I can weld gold um, because it is an excellent conductor of electricity. So I was like, perfect. And I tried to weld it on this uh, vise and the gold just welded and stuck to the vise. So that didn't work. Now I have a piece of graphite and graphite's also an excellent conductor of electricity and I know that gold doesn't stick to graphite. That's what it's meant for. We're gonna weld gold into one of these little shapes. So here we have Bering Sea Gold straight out of the ocean. I'm trying to get it awesome looking. So we're gonna pour some of this into here and then we're gonna weld on it with a TIG welder. It's gonna put electrical current into it. And I think what they're gonna do is they're just gonna glob together and create one gold bar. I don't have a temperature gauge. We're just gonna turn up the heat on the welder until we see it melt. Also, we're gonna use this, a little bit of baking soda that has been heated up to release the carbon dioxide. And we'll use this as a flux. It's, it's just all we got right now. The flux allows the bits of sand to bond to the baking soda. And that'll turn into a little black glass that will chip off. We'll start over here. Okay, that's probably... That's probably... Okay, we have 0. 0.42 ounces to start with, and we'll see how much it melts off, what it weighs after. Okay. Trusty old welding hood. I think all we gotta do is just put this in here, weld it, and, and watch what happens. This is the very careful don't spill it part. Okay, we're gonna add a little teensy bit of baking soda, and it's been pre-cooked. It has no carbon dioxide in it. It's the worst that could happen, right? Yeah, well, here's the worst that could happen. The argon blows all the gold all over the floor. Here's a pro tip. If there's water in there and you try to weld it, it will explode and shoot gold all over the room. I know this. <laughs> okay, here's the welder. This is a Lincoln 220 square wave. We're gonna use DC settings on the highest power we can get. I'm gonna turn the argon off. Um, just, I'll just leave it off completely. I don't think it needs argon. Okay, I'll turn it on a little bit. I'll turn it down to like way down there. like we're on DC, 200 amps, we're, we're ready to go. Gotta wear gloves so I don't get sunburned. Place the meal. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Hey, look at that. It's working. Too sensitive. Literally, the shininess of the gold is making my automatic lens turn off. Electricity is just going to that one blob. Let's just keep heating it up. Let's heat it up really slow. Look at that blob, it's just eating. Oh yeah. Oh, it's working so good. Wow. All right, going full power. Wow. That's hot. All right, let's chip on it a little bit. We turned it into silver. I think we alchemisted it. That is hot. This is slag, and then this is gold. And then we still need to melt some more. Also, there's these pieces, which are gold. I cook it a little bit more. There it is. Whew. How about that, huh? That's a beauty. Dang. So let's toss it in the water here. How's it look? Cool, now let's just uh, bang on it. So the gold, the gold is soft, but the slag is not. So if we bang on it, the gold will just flatten. There's gotta be a more scientific way to do this. Cool, now that it's nice and clean, let's weld it some more. Let's melt into this bar, that'd be cool. All right, well, here we have it. You can 
smelt gold with a TIG welder in your own house. And it's cheap, fast, easy with a TIG welder, graphite crucible, and a little bit of baking soda. All you need is some Bering Sea gold. If you're feeling piratey, gold coins. And if you're feeling like Fort Knox, gold bars. Okay, here we go. Cook it. Stop for a minute and readjust that. I think we just shine it up in the video, right? Look at that, it's even got like a little uh, weld shape to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we just kept melting it over and over to get the shape that we wanted. Looks like a little loaf of bread. And you can melt it as many times as you want. And uh, we're just gonna polish it up. And I'm really happy with the really fine gold melted great. It all clumped together. So it doesn't take nuggets. You can do this with powdery gold and uh, make any shape you want above it. Yeah. 